Hey guys, Ben here, and today we're back with yet another gun comparison. Today we have the MAC-10 and the LC-10. Now these are the two SMGs that were unlockable in the Battle Pass, the MAC-10 with Season 1, and the LC-10 with Season 2. Season 2 is obviously ending in like a week or so, so there will probably be a new gun comparison on the guns that are coming out next season. I'll probably just compare them to each other. Um, but that being said, there are more gun comparisons coming up soon. Let me know if there's any of them that you want to see. Um, I am thinking of potentially doing cross-game gun comparisons, um, meaning like Black Ops 4 um, versus a Cold War weapon. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Um, if you guys want to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new, that'd be awesome. We're getting pretty close to 250 subscribers. And uh, let's just get right on into this. Alright, so we're going to start in multiplayer with the LC-10, and from my or from my experience using the gun, it is one of the best guns in the game. Um, it really lacks in range, and that's kind of just the main thing. Um, but obviously, most SMGs are going to lack in range. Um, it has really good recoil, especially for an SMG, like a very low recoil. Good damage. It has a slower fire rate, which you could kind of expect with a higher damage and lower recoil rates, and has no real weak spots, excluding the limited range that it has. But um, the attachments that I have been using for it are really any scope. I personally prefer the mill stop reflex, but that's just me. Any scope will work. Um, the SOCOM Eliminator, 11.9 reinforced heavy, the foregrip, and then the Salvo 52 round fast magazine. And obviously you can see um, the difference that those attachments make on the gun. Um, I really think that the speed more talks about how quickly you aim and how quickly you can like begin firing the weapon. Not necessarily how quickly the gun is actually shooting. I don't think it affects fire rate. So I personally think lowering that to get higher accuracy and higher firepower um, for this gun with a slower fire rate and lower recoil. Anyways, I think that's uh, more beneficial. That's just what I'm rocking though. Um, but yeah, let's get on into the MAC-10. Alright, so for the MAC-10, if there was one word that I could use to describe this gun in multiplayer, it would be recoil. Um, it is so bad, the recoil on this gun. It is absolutely fucking miserable. I have basically every attachment on. I'll show you my attachments at the end of the analysis. But uh, I have basically every attachment on that you can to limit recoil. Doesn't do jack shit. Um, it has a really fast fire rate. Kind of can eliminate that recoil if you shoot it in bursts but still it's 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 pretty bad um and then the range is just horrendous so if you're not close to somebody good fucking luck killing them um overall for the attachments that i use um again any scope i still use the mill stop reflex that's just kind of my scope uh, the infantry compressor or compensator 6-1 reinforced heavy swat Laser sight, foregrip, 53 drum mag, uh, speed tape, and wire stock. Now, you'll realize I have seven attachments here. That's because I use Gunfighter, um, which I don't use with the LC-10 because it's not as necessary, and I would rather carry multiple um, equipment charges. Um, but this one, you need all the help you can get because this gun's awful. Um, so, yep, that's, uh, that's what I use for attachments, but uh, yeah. Alright, so moving on to the zombies, this is going to be more of a side-by-side -side comparison instead of breaking down both guns individually. Um, we're going to start with the damage that each gun does, um, which is on screen now. Um, for the triple pack punch variants, I wasn't able to get either of them um, because my game would not stop crashing um, before I was able to get either of the triple pack punch variants. Um, and I didn't want to delay this video too much. Um, so... Those are estimates based off the multiplier they have from unpack punched to single to double. So it's got an asterisk next to it. It's probably pretty close to what the actual value is, but my game wouldn't stop crashing, so I couldn't I couldn't actually figure it out. Um, but anyways, the LC10 is more powerful, which is it makes sense. It has a slower fire rate, like it just makes more sense. Um, first. Pack-a-punch and unpack-a-punch, I would say the LC-10 is a better weapon. 
once the Mac 10 begins getting a lot of damage per shot, which it does once it's double and triple pack punch, it hands down becomes better because the fire rate is so much faster that even though it's doing less damage, the amount of damage it's doing and the fire rate it has just makes it shred zombies. Overall, I would say it's probably better against bosses than the LC10 is, um, but not by much. They're both they're both okay against bosses, um, and I would I would just say that the Mac 10 overall, the the later it gets early unpack punched first pack punch, it's actually pretty fucking bad. Unpack punched, it's a miserable it's weapon. A first pack punch is all right, but then once you double pack it, it just it absolutely shreds zombies. Alright, so moving on into the conclusion, um, the overall winner of multiplayer is going to be the LC-10. That one's pretty obvious. Um, the recoil and lack of range of the MAC-10, just it's, it's barely usable compared to one of the top tier guns in this game, in the LC-10. It's really not a close comparison. For zombies, it is very, very close, and I am going to give it to the MAC-10 for two main reasons. The first being, I feel it's better to have a gun that's good double and triple packed than unpacked and first packed. Because if you're dying on round like 10, which is when you'd have it unpacked or first packed, then you have more problems than the gun you're using. Um, <laughs> but uh, I feel like <laughs> you need a gun that's going to be stronger late game. The MAC-10 is going to do that. I'm giving it to the MAC-10 for that reason. The second reason is it's just slightly better against bosses. Um, the Mimics on Firebase Z, the um, Manglers on Firebase Z, and then the Megaton bosses on Die Machine. I feel like it outperforms the LC-10. Not by much, but it definitely does um, in both. So I'm going to give zombies to the back 10 and then overall i'm going to give it to the lc 10 um my main justification for that is going to be simply the fact that it's so much better in multiplayer and then it's really close in zombies so just it kind of it's like it's a valid weapon in zombies and an amazing weapon in multiplayer compared to the MAC-10 being a slightly more valid weapon in zombies and then just absolute dog water in uh, multiplayer. So that is, uh, that is the comparison for the day. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to comment your thoughts on this down below, I'd love to hear them. Um, obviously, I'm only one person, um, but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on these guns down below. Um, if you want to comment any future gun comparisons you want to see, uh, let me know. I'll be sure to get working on them. And then uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. We're getting pretty close to 250. And your help would be greatly appreciated. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.